Halvashan, he takes it. Still couldn't drain it. And that'll do it for the first 12 minutes of action. And you have Barraco Ball with a great start here and sustaining it. Until the end of the first quarter, they are up by five points. And uh, Barangay Hinebra trying to charge back. And we'll see what happens when we return. We'll give you the second quarter. talking to Coach Jong. Ayaw ng pakawalan si Sunday but wala na silang position sa guard position. So, he talked to me and said uh, if I'm willing. So, kinuha ko. Parang lumalabas na nagiging go-to guy pa namin si Sunday. He has the go signal to take the shot. So, it would be an interesting matchup with the, his former team. Uh, there you go. Of course, uh, parang mana from heaven yung dating ni uh, Sunday Salvacion and uh, of course, yeah, siyempre nagpapasalamat nga si Mr. Pudis na punta sa kanya. Itong Barako Bull, they were accepting him with wide open arms. Yes. Well, in the first quarter, Richard, itong Barako Bull shot close to 39% from the field. Ito namang Barangay Hinebra only shooting 23%. Marvin Cruz almost lost the leather. Andaya inside pass. Oh, a lucky break there. As Ophelia gets his first field goal and increases the lead of Baraka Bowl to seven. But what do you like about Baraka Bowl in this conference? This is a different feel and the sense of uh, confidence in their team now. Because siguro, nakikita nila, meron na talaga silang panlaban ngayon. Before they could keep up first, second quarter. Now with the materials that they have, they can actually compete all throughout. I agree. And look at their lineup now. You have the three guards who can really score. You have Sunday Salvacion, proven scorer. Lee Dumpilia, also proven scorer. And Marvin Cruz is a very good outside shot. So, you know, they have uh, weapons in their arsenal. And of course, kanina nga, Aris Dumaunahan, starting very well. And you even look at Ken Bono, who we know was actually an MVP in the UAAP. So this guy can score as well. Selena Cruz making his appearance here. Another guard. Ami talaga. No, kaya sabi niya kanina Gino, na may problema rin si Coach Jong with Gino sa, you know, uh, juggling those uh, minutes for uh, his backcourt as Hunpia makes his back back. Well, they've been very successful with that pick and roll offense that they've been running. The big guys of uh, Barangay Hinebra need to step up a little bit more to get a hand up in the face of the guards of Barack Obor. Cruz now. Good anticipation here by Untilia. Untilia ahead of the pass, but Tube does not give up. Well, a goal that's violation call again to Ronald Tube to Untilia with three straight baskets. Well, to see Ronald Tube with just showing everybody how athletically gifted he is. Look at this. This is going for the ball. Kung kinapik niya pa ng konting pakaliwa at hindi tumama sa board, that would have been a great block. Here's Kagiwa. Tubit posting up against Uncilia. Referee halts play. And Uncilia gets his first foul. 10 point lead here for uh, Barakabu. Once again, uh, good start uh, in this quarter. Same start that they have in, the, in this game, actually. You can see that Coach Jong Yachiko wanting to use the quickness of his guys on the floor. Haven't been too successful with that just yet. 10 point lead for Barack Of course, Barack moving the ball well and shooting a very high percentage so far here in the ball game. Kagiwa, oh, you lost the letter. Good tap from behind from Sunday Salvashon. Three, three on two break here for Barack and Salvashon. They go all the way. And another early timeout called by Coach Strong with Chico Barraco Ball up by 12.
right, welcome back. Sunday Salvacion and his new team doing very well here in the game so far. And there you have Sunday Salvacion very early in the venue. He was here since 3.30 last week. Ay, hindi pa pala. Kanina lang pala yan. So, uh, Sunday Salvacion really preparing uh, for this game. Alam naman natin, Richard, dito si Sunday Salvacion always comes early. Yes. Uh, Courtside reporter ako, nahingita ko siya. Always comes early to the ball game. And, oh, another miss for Barangay Hinebra. Marvin Cruz. Here's Bono. Trying to make his presence felt. Nice body with Hatfield up and under, no good. Andaya. Sayang yung post move na yun ni Ken Bono. And also the follow up by Andaya. Grabe ni, uh, grabe ni by Andaya. Gusto so, na yung lakaw eh. The field goal shooting of Barangay Nembra so far 20%, 21%, 5 of 24. On the other hand, 47, 47.8 oh, for Barack Wolf. And in the first quarter, Richard, it was a Hubalde Di Maunahan show. And in the second quarter, it's been Reed Huntilia and Sunday Salvacion. At that time, it was a good idea for Barangay Neva to get the ball inside the paint. They haven't been knocking down their outside jumpers, and Tubit is fouled and would have to earn it from the stripe, of course. Ronald Tubit. And Richard, alam natin, pag a small ball, you want to be able to run, to be able to take advantage of your speed. But if the other team is shooting very well, it's very hard to run. Plus, you need to step it up on defense. So if you can't stop them, your opposing team on uh, a half-court defense, you have to put some pressure and force some turnovers. And this is what Barangay Never is doing, some backcourt pressure being applied. Sunday uses that screen by Bono. Inside pass on Daya. No! A good rotation that time on the defense for the Barangay Never Gym King. Hatfield coming out, and Tonsi Wilson helping, and another guy also again helping, Chito Kai Big Mac Adaya. Kubi tries it again and locks down that three point basket. The delight of the Barangay Never fans inside the Astrodome. Lead is down to seven. Here's Ontilia. Bono now, he decides to take it. Now the shot's not falling for uh, Barack Well, you can see now that they gotta stop, all of a sudden the pace quickens and you get shots like this. And you gotta make them. One thing I'll buy you We just uh, wanted to add another stat uh, and just rebound first before scoring. And it's the turn of Barack Bull to uh, get, take this time out because uh, after leading by as much as 12, the lead is now down to 5 with 8 and 5 remaining. Here the first half. We are coming to you from the Cuneta Astrodome. We have a good sized uh, Friday crowd and uh, here up for another season of unscripted drama. The rainy motion and the best basketball as we unfold the 2010-2011 NBA season. With us the best games live every morning on BTV. And from Saturday to Monday on Solar TV, log on to these channel websites for full and complete schedules. Coming off that timeout, I like what Barangay and Everett Jinkies are doing. Is they're putting more pressure. So they made a run. Nagita mo as a team, as a player, ginaganahan ka pag nakakahabol ka. And another basket coming off that timeout. That would make Coach Janelle uh, happy. Well, as a coach, Richard, and you're a coach yourself, talagang pag uh, gano'n ang kinayamat mo, tapos nakashoot ka, hindi ka nagsayang ng time out. At saka nagpumukha ka genius. <laughs> William Wilson! Wilson retaliating with his own basket as more backward pressure results in a turnover. Barangay Nebra held her brands, right a three, no! Gets his own miss, nice pass inside, oh, sorry, miss! Another offensive rebound for the Jin Kings. We'll check on the total of the offensive rebounds later on. Here's Helterbrand. He tries again. 
Still nothing. Back to back misses for JJ Helderbrand from three. And I'm happy to see Helderbrand, another type of a rhythm player. He likes it get, getting his shots off the dribble. Mark Ise followed by Rudy Hatfield. Only the first one for the Dominican Democrats. Mark Ise. And Mark Ise will shoot to the line. Ise uh, is the second leading scorer for Barajo Bor with uh, 12 so points really a 12 point game average and uh, 29 minutes of play. Getting a lot of minutes also from Coach Janelle Bakuli. You know, if you're a player, you know, sometimes parang nakakalito rin, no? Would you like to uh, go to a strong team that has a chance of winning the championship? Or, you know, not a really strong team, but you would get playing minutes. Well, I think it really depends on what uh, point of you are in your career. Yeah. So, if you're uh, still young, you want to be able to go to a team that you have more minutes. And J.J. Helderbrand making the necessary adjustments for his first three points of the game. Alex Di Maunahan! Medyo nandamig na. Oo, napag-upo sa kanya ni Coach Baguli. But Ginebra now threatening to come back. Just down by three with six minutes left. Down pass inside, almost stolen. Wilson! Another bounce pass, dangerous passing there for Barangay Nebra. And again, a tawag na three-second violation. It was such a slow pass. That bounce pass eventually make it uh, going inside the paint. It allows the defense to recover and uh, lost turnover for Barangay Nebra. And usually, when you're inside the paint, you're only allowed one more pass to get the ball there. At the time, there were two passes for the Jin King. Here's Ubalde now. Oh, pass is deflected and intercepted. Here's Elterbrad leading the break to Intal. Intal with a sidestepping move and finish. You can just see how comfortable JC and Intal is when it comes to finishing the pass break. And right now, a lead is down to one. A 30-second timeout called by Barajo Bol. Brought to you by Handyfix, ang first aid ng bahay mo. Bonds all, seals all, and what a run here by Barangay in Ebra. They were down by as much as 12 points, but uh, some pressure defense, resulting in the turnovers and easy layups, and a couple of threes has brought them back in this game. And right now, Barako Bull needs to make their own run. All right, uh, reminding everyone about the PBA clicks. For ticks, log on to www.solartv.com.ph or www.btv.com.ph. Click on the clicks for ticks. Vote for your best player of the week. Winners will be announced every Sunday. Wala bang best coach of the week? Wala. Paano pag kusin lang manalo? Or sino pinakamadaming fans? Or pag nagaling sa timeout, pag nakakasun. Kasi ako nga nagkuha ang genius. All right, and uh, let's know more about uh, J.C. Intal from Gino Rufino. Thanks, Richard. Now, J.C. Intal, who got the start today, said he believes Coach Jong is trying to give him more confidence by letting him start this game. J.C. admitted that sometimes he puts too much pressure on himself because he thinks too much and should just let the game come to him. So far this conference, J.C. has been averaging five points per game. Today, well, he has four. So we're going to keep a, gonna keep a look and see how J.C. progresses in this game. Richard and uh, Dom? Just play with rhythm. I mean, look at JJ Helterbrand that time just reacting to the defense that was given to him. When you think about it too much, mas nagkaka problema. That's right. Dimao Nahan. He needs to watch out once again here for Barako Ball. Wainwright from way out. And that's that guy got three. Tough shot that time by Rob Wainwright, but knocking it down. 